Here we are looking at a supply fan drive that has a lot of fluctuation in the uh, set point. We can see it bouncing just up and down all over the place. What we're going to do is use the auto tune feature in HVAC Pro to level out the PID loop. Here we have the program we are actually commissioned into the controller and from the commissioning tab we're going to select loop tuning. Since we are going to be tuning the PID loop for the static pressure, what we need to select for this is of course the static pressure input. The set point value in uh, this drop down tab here is of course the set point for the static pressure that we're trying to maintain. If you are using a calculated pressure for your uh, set point, I recommend that you put an override on it to lock it at a constant value. Our analog output is of course the supply fan command. Now the values that we are going to be changing are the proportional band and the integral time. So from our drop down menu here we have to select the appropriate uh, prop band in, uh, within our program uh, for the supply fan. And of course the integral time is going to be the same. It's going to be the supply fan uh, integral time. So we select that as well from the second menu. We also want to make sure that we check the adaptive tuning option. If you don't do that, it's not going to allow you to tune it. Once you press the OK, you're going to get this little pop-up screen about uh, logging data. You're going to come into this window here, and since we are going to be tuning the static pressure, we need to change this value in this box to a 1. You can see the little indicator here that it uh, tells you the value for the particular loops that you're tuning. We're also going to change the second one to a 1 as well. Now this little warning button, and we click the OK. Now this is our window. This is where we're going to see things happening. Right now it's looking at it. It's just basically monitoring it. There are not any changes made until we press the tune button. And that's, this is where we are actually now tuning. The amount of time that it takes to tune the particular PID loop you're working with is going to vary. Here you can see here that uh, after a brief period of time we have a much more stable output from our device. You can see that uh, you can see where it has started to adjust the prop band as well as the integral time values and we have a much more stable output to our drive. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Leave me any questions or comments down below, and thanks for watching.